27th of September we've got our first frost and bloody hell it's really cold this morning so right yeah we've got a list of jobs do do have to have uh, like I'm 49 50 50 well obviously 50 next and uh, yeah my memory I don't know I have to do job lists look I have to write me jobs so I remember so when people start ringing and people start bothering me at eight o'clock don't fry my head and I forget about everything so we've got a list of jobs to do today uh, Ollie's off drilling barley we've got another what is it 40 acre of barley to put in and that, that's ticked that box we've got a few cover crops just to finish off uh, a 25 acre what are we putting uh, just a very uh, just a, a lean mix of rye and oats on just to sort of I don't know scavenge a bit of nutrients and keep it open a little bit for winter that's the idea we loaded a wagon with some machinery yesterday and he left that for us so someone else is picking that up so that won't even shift so we have to drag that out way so I don't know where that's going a lot of straw may be going I have to ring him we bail these little bales in six footers for a specialist job so yeah they're waiting to go it's cold some cultivating to do Phil's off cultivating, Ollie's off drilling I've got some rolling and finish off that, them cover crops uh, some spraying I've decided now that it's time that even second wheat if land's fairly good we've had quite a few showers we've had quite a flush on uh, uh, black grass and other rubbish volunteers it's time they were in I think it's time just so I'll tick them off now that's uh, my idea got news on our new trailer um, <clears throat> yeah we ordered it in what was it I think we ordered it in uh, about Christmas time anyway it's been built now so it's on its way so uh, I'm gonna have a word with him go around his factory and show you because uh, hell of a trailer DRT trailers if you want one yeah he's struggling at the moment getting stuff and getting labor to build them but uh, everybody who, who I know of Purin Ardrin has got their trailers. I think, but he knew I want desperate, so and he's a mate, he's a mate of mine. He's he's uh, he's Pete anyway. Who owns it? So I won't chewing at him. But yeah, so we'll have a new trailer for uh, leading muck this time, and it's going to be one of them trailers. I know it's cost a lot of money, but oh, don't just keep it for corn just because it's nice and shiny. Just use it for everything. I don't think I'd drop rubble in it, but. We're going to use it from, for uh, 40 yard muck from, uh, from day one, like. Whew, yeah, it's cold. You maybe know where we are now. We're just at back at Hereford grasses. They're looking very, very cowy now. In fact, I was a bit worried that they were going down back downhill, but we dad says they aren't, and they aren't to be honest, but look at that bugger. This is fit as out to be fair. They're, yeah, I've got them a bit, maybe too fit. There's one we definitely know as Baron. She's, uh, I think it's this one. Oh no. Actually, she's showing a bit of a bloody, the bag 
No, it's number 15 what's uh, uh, what's uh, not well I think he, well he's been taking uh, notice of uh, one number 15 so but they're in real good form hey girls I want to get a cheeky holiday in there before I uh, we start thinking about carving so in a few weeks I'm hoping to get away whether I will or not I don't know and then December sort of latter end of December we uh, expect a few calves so right a pair of goes a lot of a lot of wheat going I don't even know where the bucket is forklift bucket my dad's had it it's a bit of a strange feel this there's blow away sand right way around it like a big horseshoe and then a bit strong a bit in the middle um, and it does stand water a bit it's well drained but it does stand water so I think how we're doing it this year though I think it's going in nice and airy we aren't paddling it at all so oh just found this look I don't want to run over that bugger could do a bloody do a tiring could it god I'm knackered people are against what well, we're doing today we are burning a lot of diesel but I would say the seed is going in the ground pretty perfectly we maybe are burning a lot of diesel but we are spending a lot on depre depreciation are we it's all depreciated now just going up in value I think most of our tractors are going up in value yeah, I know you have to replace them with something, but that's an animal, is that? I'd love to put, that's 320 horsepower, and I'd love to put that against a, a modern 320 horsepower, see if it would, uh, see which would out pull them, each other. Because I don't think horsepower, modern horsepower, add blue horsepower, is as strong as the old traditional stuff. I know she's only, what is she, 11, 12 year old, something like that. But that bugger can wrap. And this hard last, this is this is mid-90s. Still does a job like. We've got a calamity over there. They've uh, only snapped back a roller off uh, off uh, his drill combi. It's been mended before we do it. No history of machine anyway, it's been mended before and welded badly. So We'll bring that up and get it fixed for the morning, but I'm just finishing off. Well, last night cover crops, to be honest. I don't think we're putting any more in. We're only playing, but we just put 25 acre of uh, of rye and oats in a field. What's hopping with uh, spring barley next year? Just to give it a bit of conditioning over winter and so sort of feast on a few nutrients. What are going to escape? <coughs> And try and keep soiling a little bit better order and then we'll direct drill straight into this next year and I've chose this old girl it was only tractor free so we've put the old magnum on that she's pulling like a dream she is not the comfiest of, um, of animals after uh, driving one with front suspension no but actually doing a job it's doing a job yeah, we've put, just put in about, about, oh, what is it, what's it worth, a, a quid to about 60 kilo of an hectare of oats and rye on. So, we didn't want no brassicas in among it because it's sluggish, because this is quite, 
it's heavy land and it? we don't want to breed ourselves a slug a slug issue but yeah job's a good one beautiful day now it's after a, it was a frost this morning Chasing the clock, really. He wants to get that finished. Three o'clock, four o'clock. It'll be pissing down here about a bit forecast. So hopefully it's four o'clock rather than three, because it's one o'clock now. And it wants to cut. I like it to have a couple of hours rain fast. Um, this this climb for safe, but and all these uh, fields rolling some a field that uh, we drilled this morning really is a bit soon on that but we just want it in we just want it finished before night because tomorrow is a fairly damp day and friday afternoon is a bloody wet wet one up here so i don't know whether there's a, a change in stall but anyway so we're just sort of ticking a few boxes and then we've been cutting some wood down and layer them uh, burn but we've been trying to tidying some edges up so hopefully we'll get an hour or two of that before night as well, before it gets too wet. Uh, we've got a fire going. Yeah, that was our issue you see that's original thorn edge hedgerow which has got far too out of hand a lot of them are rotten so we should have took the tops out of all of them really but it'll look a little bit naked on uh, this wood side and officially the well the wood isn't ours but um so we don't want to sort of invade his space too much but yeah we're just taking all this loose stuff what's grown in and all these leany ones what have lent over and we're gaining ourselves well from that to that i know you have to leave a bit of a buffer but and then it's done now he can uh i mean phil can just whack it back with edge cutter once a year so yeah very pleased with that Watch Phil's dog go for the stick. Go on, chuck it in. Ain't that stupid, is it? Come here, dog. Here, come here. Hey, wait, go in fire. Look at it. Stupid fucking thing. Ooh. Have you seen how stupid is that? Fucking dog. Vet job. 
Did it burn itself, bud? Did it burn itself? Dogs are right, but Christ, have you ever seen out like that? Jumped in fire, didn't it? It's very obedient. It said it had rained at, uh, it, it focused rain at five o'clock. What time is it, Phil? Quarter. Quarter to five, so BBC got it about bang on today. So yeah, right, home time for us. We don't think, uh, now it's raining, it saved us a job because we were going to wait an hour or two, or an hour anyway. But I don't think it'll uh, set fire to the stubble now. And what we'll do tomorrow, I'll come and finish off yon corner. And uh, jobs are good. Right, we're taking that out way because we just don't leave stuff hanging about now because either batteries get nicked off it or a diesel gets emptied. And uh, yeah, now it's safe now, even. We, well, we live in quite a crime free area. But there's always someone l lurking about to uh, to steal some. Oh god, I've had a disaster in back up man. Can I waste oil? Spilt look. What a mess it is in back of there. So I'd muck out. Right, on time. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, innit? Or ring a bell, tick a button or something. And uh, we do two a week of a farm in East Yorkshire. We even cook dogs, look. I think it's okay. It, did, it was carrying a paw when it first came out to fire, but I think it's all right now. Good job, right? You know, one of them, them jobs where you just feel like you've, you've earned your tea. You just feel like you've done something. You know, we'll be able to work down that wood side for years and years now and think, Christ, it was worth doing that. In fact, the, the field looks bigger from here. You know, it looks like a lot tidier.